hi guys it's lucky here again and i welcome you guys back to this tutorial section again guys so in today's video i'll be showing you how to unbox and set up uh, this printer this is a dexjet uh, twins 320 is a newly released printer uh, from hp basically this printer handles the three basic functions it can print it can scan and it can also photocopy so i'll be showing you how to configure and uh, set it up in just uh, five minutes okay so let's now jump in into the tutorial So guys, as you can see here, we have the two power cord, have the one and the two pin, and then the two uh, cartridge. One is colored white, the other one is uh, the black. So let's take out the printer now. Um, so this is the manual. That comes with the printer. So in case you want to read and know more about the printer, so you can actually go through the manuals so you see the specifications and other things. So let's open this and see what we've got here. So guys, at this point, the next thing we're going to do now is to uh, slot in the two cartridge that comes with the printer. So I'll quickly open the cartridge to put it inside. So like I said before, this cartridge, one of them is colored white, the, the, the other one is, is a black cartridge. So here, here is the colored one, like you can see it's indicated from the, from the uh, cover here. So this is the... The color. So all you have to do is just to open the, the cartridge door and then you locate uh, where the colored one is supposed to be. Here is indicated here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to bring the camera close so you can see what I'm trying to show here. So here, as you can see, this one here is the is the colored one. Why the, the other one here is the black? So I will just put the, the colored respective to where it's supposed to be so this is the colored one here so i will slide this cartridge door and then bring in where the the print uh cartridge is supposed to be so i'll just slot it in so guys just take it like this from here make sure that this sensor is facing the other part so from here you just do it and then you clip it here yeah? So it's all I just did now. So let's put the second uh, cartridge, the black cartridge. So guys, we're still gonna do the same thing here. So you still put the the black cartridge you put it where it's supposed to be so and then you clip it yeah just like that and then you close the cartridge door and then we are done so the next thing now is to power on the the printer so here i'll take out my cord so like i said the cord has two pin why the, the other one has comes with three pin so i'll be using this three pin depending on the outlets you have use the pin 
So here is where I'm plugging it. Plug it at the back. So basically there are two outputs here. Here is the way of connecting the, the, the printer cord and here is the power cord. So I'll connect the, the, the power cord and then here I'll connect it to power supply. Okay, so it's time to power on the printer now. So here is where we are going to power on the printer. Just click and then the LED light starts blinking. So you wait for a moment for the printer to initialize. Here you can bring out the, the door where the paper will be coming out from. So I'm going to load up the A4 paper that I got here with me. So here is the mix of A4 paper. So I'll just load it up. Alright guys, so we have uh, about four uh, buttons here. Now the this button here is the, the colored uh, button, why the one here is the black button, why here is the resume button, why this button here is the cancel button. Probably you are trying to uh, print uh, from your printer or even from your mobile phone and uh, unfortunately there is vapor jam so all you have to do is just to use this button here to cancel the print. Okay, so here I think the printer is done initializing. So the first thing we are going to do here is to do a photocopy and uh, see that our printer is working fine. So I will open this door and then I'll put in the paper that I want to. So I'll just close it. Okay guys, so the first thing we are going to do here now is to do a black a photocopy and after the black photocopy, we also test on the color the photocopy. Okay, so let's start. Black, one here, and then you wait for a moment. Alright guys, so here is the printout of the stuff that we just did now. Yeah, that's the printout of the photocopy. So we just did a black copy. So here, as you can see, is a very clear printout. It doesn't have any lines on it. It's a very direct something. So here, I'm going to be doing a colored printout again to show you how the, the color works. So here, I have a color print out here, so let's test the, the colored photocopy now and see how it goes. So I will click on the colored button there because I want to do a colored photocopy. Alright guys, so here is the the printout here. You can see that it's very neat and uh, it's very sharp. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. Guys, if today is your first time of visiting our YouTube channel, here we post video relating to IT. So in case if today is your first time, I would like you to subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that I don't miss any of our future tech support video. Here we post video every week precisely on Friday, so you don't want to miss any of that. So start by subscribing and turning the bell notification. So we we'll see you in the next uh, video. Bye for now.